coconuts reside in a palm family, which contains about 4,000 species. The origin of these palms is somewhat of a mystery but is widespread throughout the tropics, and primarily found on sandy beaches. The questions then arise, when are coconuts ripe and how to pick coconuts from trees? Coconut is the most economically important of the palm family, and is grown as both a food crop as well as an ornamental. Coconuts are cultivated for their meat, or copra, which is pressed to release oil. The residual cake is then used to feed livestock. Coir, the fiber from the husk, will be familiar to gardeners and is used in potting mix, for plant liners, and as packing material, mulch, rope, fuel, and matting. If you want to harvest the fruit for the coconut water, the fruit is ready six to seven months after emergence. If you want to wait for the delicious meat, you need to wait for another five to six months. Select coconuts with a diameter of about six to eight inches. The palm of a young coconut should be dense and smooth with little give. Back to harvesting your coconut. If the tree is tall, a pole pruner may be of assistance. If you aren't scared of heights, a ladder is certainly a way to get to the coconuts. If the tree is small or has bent from the weight of the nuts, you may be able to reach them easily and clip them from the palm using sharp pruning shears. Gould also drop one on you. The process of extracting coconut milk involves several steps, each crucial in obtaining the desired consistency and flavor. From selecting the right coconuts to the final storage of the extracted milk, every stage contributes to the quality and taste of the end product. Understanding the intricacies of this process is essential for achieving the best results when using coconut milk in cooking and baking. The manufacturing process of commercial coconut milk generally involves these steps. Choose mature coconuts that feel heavy for their size and have a firm, brown outer husk. Avoid coconuts with any soft spots or mold on the exterior. Remove the husk from the coconut using a sharp knife. Revealing the hard shell underneath. The coconut can then be thoroughly washed to ensure any remaining debris or dirt is removed. Mature coconuts go through dehelling and paring. The kernels of the deshelled coconuts are then shredded into small gratings using industrial scale cutters and grinders. Milk is extracted from the fruit by compressing it under screw presses. The grating process can be carried out manually or by machine. After extraction, the coconut milk is filtered. Filtration can be done using a cheesecloth, fine filter, or a scrap surface filter. After filtration, the coconut milk is quickly cooled to retard any deterioration reactions. The coconut milk is then homogenized, pasteurized, and sterilized. This process ensures that the coconut milk retains its rich, creamy texture and nutty flavor. It's worth noting that the quality of the end product heavily depends on the quality of the coconuts used, so always start with fresh, mature coconuts. Atlantis Cocoa, a leading manufacturer and exporter of coir products, has a comprehensive process for manufacturing coir goods. They have people across three states in South India to source raw materials. Their extensive quality control measures help grade their suppliers and keep a check on incoming stock. Their state-of-the-art manufacturing plant production facility is equipped with all of the required machinery and skilled labor to produce the highest quality items. They ensure coir is pre-washed to reduce EC and use ranges of sieves to clean before manufacture. This helps them reduce sand content. Their freight forwarding team ensures the pallets are secured and packaged as per destination country requirements. Their state-of-the-art facility is located in Polachi, Tamil Nadu, in the heart of the Indian coconut region. They follow stringent quality control processes for procuring raw materials. 
To ensure constant quality throughout the year, they have made significant investments in manufacturing. Without the investment in a comprehensive quality control laboratory and competent personnel, this would not have been achievable. Their products include COIR, which is the main raw material used in soil amendment, potting mix, and in hydroponic media production. They also manufacture cocoa grow bags, which are organic growing media widely used for outdoor and indoor greenhouse cultivation. Coco Hitech, a leading manufacturer of coir products, has a comprehensive process for producing coir mats. The coir fibers are extracted from the coconut husks. This is typically done by soaking the husks in water to soften them, followed by mechanical processes to separate the fibers from the rest of the husk. The extracted coconut fibers are then processed into coir yarn. The coir yarn is further processed into coir rope. The coir rope is then woven into mats using traditional weaving techniques or molded into different shapes, depending on the intended use. To reinforce the coir mat, it is handled to make it more robust and rugged. The final product is then packed and prepared for export. Coco Hitech ensures that the coir mats are of high quality and environmentally friendly. Hydrocoir Private Ltd, a family-run business established in Sri Lanka, specializes in the manufacture of cocoa coir substrates. They offer a range of products including grow slabs, open tops, grow blocks, grow cubes, and grow plugs. Hydrocoir employs a unique process of super washing their substrates. This process equals chemically washed substrates in performance, without damaging the environment. The outer brown husk of the coconut is separated from the inner fruit. This husk is then soaked in water to soften it and remove any remaining salt or impurities. Traditionally, the softened husk was beaten to separate the long, strong fibers from the shorter coir dust. Modern methods might utilize machinery like defibering machines to achieve this separation more efficiently. The extracted coir fibers and dust are thoroughly washed to remove any dirt or debris. They are then dried in the sun or using mechanical dryers to reduce the moisture content. The dried coir fibers and dust are then separated into different grades based on size and quality. Depending on the end product, the coir might be further processed, such as being chopped into smaller pieces or buffered to adjust its pH level. The finished cocoa coir substrate is then packaged in various forms, such as coir blocks, bricks, or bags, depending on the customer's needs. Cocoa coir substrates offer several benefits for plant growth. Superior water retention, cocoa coir has the ability to retain water while still maintaining excellent aeration. This means your plants get the moisture they need without the risk of waterlogging or root rot. Enhanced nutrient absorption, Coco coir has a high cation exchange capacity CEC, allowing it to hold on to essential nutrients and release them to plant roots as needed. This results in healthier, more vigorous growth and reduces the need for frequent fertilization. pH stability, Coco coir has a naturally neutral pH, providing a stable environment for your plants and allowing for better nutrient uptake. Renewable and sustainable, as a byproduct of the coconut industry, Coco coir is an eco-friendly choice for conscientious gardeners. It's biodegradable, renewable, and helps reduce waste by repurposing coconut husks that would otherwise be discarded. 
suitable for hydroponic systems, due to its neutral pH, resistance to compaction and decomposition, and suitable cation exchange capacity, CEC, cocoa coir is ideal for hydroponic systems as well as soilless mixes. These benefits make cocoa coir a popular choice for both professional and hobbyist gardeners.